Well, hello everybody and welcome to a new video where we are going to benchmark Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which to my knowledge is still the newest Tomb Raider or the latest uh, Tomb Raider, I guess. Um, we're going to test it on the NVIDIA Quadro T2000 uh, in the Dell Precision 5540 and that at 1080p with the high settings preset. So let's see how this benchmark will run. Oh, and I guess... I mean, we're loading right now, so I can't be sure right now. Uh, but it seems that we already have the 30 watt cap on our NVIDIA Quadro T2000, uh, which this machine sometimes, or basically all the time, uh, when it's used for a longer period of time, uh, actually exhibits. So mm -hmm. let's hope that we actually do get some 40 watt cap in the beginning of the benchmark, so we can see how well the T2000 will actually run if it's not firmly constrained or power constrained, uh, like in this machine. <clears throat> and we are at the 40 watts limit, so that is pretty good. So yeah, this is the Dell Precision 5540, so the professional uh, cousin of the Dell XPS 7590. Uh, obviously, we do not have the NVIDIA GTX 1650 in here, but the Quadro T2000. And this machine uh, comes with 32 GB of RAM and with an i9-9880H, so an 8-core uh, CPU, uh, which I have clocked to the base clock speed, which is 2.3 GHz, uh, which should be absolutely enough for this T2000 at full HD resolution with the high settings uh, to be allowed to run at its full potential. So yeah, I guess we're seeing pretty playable FPS right now. Um, I mean, this is a solo single player game, so you don't really need uh, 60 FPS and more in order to enjoy it, since it isn't really that fast paced either. Oh, but now we're seeing the, the 30 watt cap, which I was talking about earlier of this machine which will happen uh, if you play for a prolonged uh, period. Oh, I guess, I don't know how long it took uh, this machine to, to throttle down. I guess it was two minutes, three minutes. <clears throat> yeah, you just have to live with this because, uh, I mean, on the one hand, uh, the dead precision is very, very quiet. Like the, the fans, even at, uh, at full speed, which it's running right now, is pretty quiet uh, and we are also seeing I mean we can't really uh, you can't read uh, the, the temperatures of the Quadro GPU um, so we just have to go with our CPU which sits at 68 67 degrees so it is actually super cool as well and I have no idea why uh, why it has to throttle the, the GPU to 30 watts for some reason uh, but I guess Dell simply decided that they wanted to have a very quiet system and yeah, that's what we are seeing here, a quiet system which isn't allowed to run at its full potential. So now the, the water is going back up to 40 watts. So yeah, let's see how that will affect our end result. But nevertheless, it seems, I mean, we're in the, the busy market area here. I guess this is one of the more intense areas and we are still seeing pretty great FPS. Well, I mean, above 40 FPS, which is which is absolutely fine. Because I would say everything above uh, 40 FPS is uh, smoothly playable in a single player game. It's obviously nothing I would want to uh, see in something like Apex Legends, obviously, uh, but for us, for a single player game like this, this is absolutely fine. And yeah, we can see we are basically GPU bound all the time, obviously at some part due to the fact that uh, it's rolling down to 30 watts, but yeah, this is looking pretty good. With our average 45 FPS, you can see that this is definitely at full HD and high settings, absolutely playable, even with the 30 FPS cap. <clears throat> 